so we're taking a look at the my digital ssd um, bulletproof enclosure here this is a usb hard drive it's pretty small and it's pretty fast because what goes inside is an ngff ssd i've got a couple here they're obviously not supplied with the the unit but it will take the small i think that's the 30 millimeter one there all the way up to the full size uh, 80 millimeter version there and what you end up with and i'll just slot that inside there is a lovely aluminium casing that's nice and compact you can actually get uh, i think up to half a gigs on ngff probably by the time you watch this video it'll be a terabyte of ngff will go into that uh, really nice and light and nice and compact and because it's aluminium it's nice and solid as well so let's just show you how i put that together so it's really easy all you're going to do is take your ngff module put it in there remember modules slot in like that it's just angled up and then you push them down and put the screw in can be a bit fiddly with the screw and especially with the supplied screwdriver it's certainly not easy but uh, i'll give it a go here extremely fiddly but have we got it <laughs> there we go right just make sure that's centered right and then you've got your NGFF in your module now all you have to do is slide that inside there Take the metal cover, make sure you keep the chamfered edges on, there they are. Can you just see that? Chamfered edges on the outside. It will only go in one way around, and yep, it's gotta be the wrong way. And that will just slot in there. And then you've got two screws that will just make that um, all solid and tight. So there it is, all screwed up, and then all you get, all you need to do, put your cable in, and you're away. Now this supports uh, USB over um, SCSI, SCSI protocol, so you get the highest speeds possible out of USB 3 uh, and a hard drive, and uh, obviously depends what NGFM, NGFF module you put in there, but the controller is uh, capable of getting the best out of whatever you put in there. So we've got the M2 SATA enclosure uh, connected to this Ultrabook. Uh, inside the Ultrabook we've got an Intel 180 gig SSD which is pretty fast. So there should be really no bottleneck here on sequential transfer speeds out of the USB drive to the Ultrabook. So what I'm going to do here, just take this, uh, this file here which is 712 uh, megabytes. We'll just uh, drop that onto the desktop there and see how quickly that transfers 200 220 well it really was uh, a very very short time indeed um, let's take this uh windows a technical preview windows 10 technical preview that's a two gigabyte file i'm going to replace uh, the file in the destination because it was already there on the desktop and there you can see average speeds there around 180 190 going down to around 100 and down to 170 megabytes a second so super quick so i've deleted the files on the ssd drive i've created a brand new raw file of one of those video files there so this has never been transferred before we'll drop that in there see what the transfer speeds are and there you go 130 136 139 134 135 average megabytes per second we'll do that two gigabyte windows file as well and there you go that's 121 117 113 111 not sure why that this is uh, a little bit slower than the other one but that's uh, maybe 10 20 megabytes a second slower 112 let's go up to 120 
So there you can see the advantage, super quick uh, transfers to and from the device. If your SSD on your laptop can support it, if you have got an SSD on your laptop that runs this fast, this is a great way to transfer huge files around. So the last thing to do is a crystal disk mark test. This is a synthetic test, read and write from the drive to memory. Let's just uh, kick that off and we'll come back with the scores. There's the crystal disk mark scores for the My Digital SSD M2 SATA enclosure over USB 3 with a Supercache 2 128 gig drive inside. The uh, results are to and from memory inside the ultra that we're using here, so it doesn't include the bottleneck, potential bottleneck of the hard drive inside. But they're pretty good and show that the, uh, the USB drive is capable of some really high speed uh, transfers. That's uh, some excellent, especially that 415 read speed there, really nice indeed. So that's the My Digital SSD NGFF or M2 SATA. Uh, adapter enclosure, nice aluminium build, lightweight. But don't forget, there's also the My Digital SSD adapter for uh, MSATA devices, and uh, that's it here. Uh, I'll put a link up on the screen right now uh, for the video where I show you how to use that one. Thanks for watching, and thanks to My Digital SSD for sending those products over. Stay tuned for more on Ultrabook News, UMC Portal, and Chromebook World. Thanks for watching.